But tonight, a story you will see only on WBZ. An adventurous snowboarder crashing on a mountaintop in New Hampshire. But a stranger from Massachusetts who was in the right place at the right time saved his life. Ken McLeod has the exclusive interview with this hero. Ken? Snowboarder Patrick McQuaid has spent the last five days in the ICU at the Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center in New Hampshire, his wife at his side. He's alive and will recover thanks to an alert skier from Beverly, an emergency beacon, and a National Guard rescue chopper. John Dwyer is an experienced backcountry skier. Oh, yeah. And Pat McQuaid prefers his snowboard for adventures off the beaten path. Both had never met before Friday when Pat took this video in the remote Great Gulf of the White Mountains minutes before his near fatal fall. Yeah, I would have felt terrible if I had not been there when that had happened, if I had missed it somehow or been looking the wrong way at the, at the wrong moment. John just happened to be looking up when Pat tumbled several hundred feet down the steep, rocky terrain known as Turkey Chute. Otherwise, no one would have seen it. This is Pat's helmet in pieces. I ran over to him and I was pretty certain at that point that he was gone. It took a minute or so, but incredibly, Pat regained consciousness. Their cell phones were useless, but just the day before, John had bought this emergency SOS beacon, and he used it to send rescuers his GPS position, and even text them that several broken bones rendered Pat unable to walk. We've avoided thinking about what what would happen if John wasn't there at the moment he was. Liz is the victim's wife and spoke to us from his hospital room. That beacon really cut down on the amount of time that Pat would have been out there. Indeed, rescuers came for Pat and a National Guard chopper, but even that took two hours. To sit there in, in that kind of pain for that long was, was pretty incredible. By then, John had flagged down another skier, with both using their first aid gear and training to stabilize Pat, keeping him awake and alert. Once I got him talking, he he seemed to, you know, trend upwardsly throughout the conversation, which was, which was awesome. I am very grateful for the things that did go right. Today, the injured snowboarder spoke to his skiing Samaritan by phone for the first time since the accident. There was a heartfelt thank you, and Pat's wife says both men came away stronger. I think the two of them would, would be very good friends, actually. It seems like they're like two peas in a pod. Pat and his wife got some great news just a few hours ago when they learned he's well enough to move out of intensive care into a rehab facility. Lisa, the hope is he'll be all healed by the time their first child is born this summer. Wow, something to look forward to, Ken. Great story. Thank you.